Welcome back to Now You Know, where today we're diving deep into one of the most significant technological advancements in military aviation, hydrogen fuel cell-powered drones. As warfare continues to evolve in the 21st century, the limitations on range and power are increasingly becoming the difference between success and defeat on the battlefield. Traditional battery-powered drones have revolutionized reconnaissance and strike capabilities, but their limited flight times have remained a critical weakness. Combustion engine drones offer longer flight times but come with their own set of drawbacks, including thermal signatures that make them easy targets. Enter Hydrogen Fuel Cell Technology, a game-changing power source that's poised to transform military drone operations completely. Military drones have traditionally relied on two primary power sources, lithium-ion batteries and internal combustion engines. Battery-powered drones offer simplicity and quiet operation but suffer from severely limited flight times, typically 20-40 minutes for tactical models. Internal combustion engines extend this range significantly but produce heat signatures that make them vulnerable to detection and interception. The quest for a better power solution has been ongoing for decades. In fact, hydrogen fuel cell drone experimentation dates back to NASA's 1994 Helios prototype. The Office of Naval Research has also invested heavily in related research and experimentation over the years, recognizing the strategic advantage that extended flight times would provide. What we're seeing now in 2025 is the culmination of these efforts. Hydrogen fuel cell technology that's mature enough for practical military deployment, offering a revolutionary combination of extended range, reduced signatures, and operational flexibility. Let's break down the technical aspects of how these systems actually work. Unlike batteries that store electrical energy directly, or combustion engines that burn fuel, hydrogen fuel cells generate electricity through an electrochemical reaction. The process begins with hydrogen stored in specialized tanks on the drone. This hydrogen passes through a fuel cell stack where it interacts with oxygen from the air. This chemical reaction produces electricity, with water and heat as the only byproducts, no carbon emissions whatsoever. The electricity generated powers electric motors that drive the drone's propellers, similar to battery-powered systems. However, the energy density of hydrogen is significantly higher than lithium-ion batteries, approximately five times more efficient, according to research from Arkansas Tech University. In practical terms, this means that with just one pound of hydrogen, these drones can generate enough electricity for approximately 10 hours of flight time and cover distances of about 100 miles. Some advanced models in development are targeting ranges of up to 1,000 kilometers. The advantages of hydrogen fuel cell technology for military drones are substantial and multifaceted. First and foremost is the dramatic increase in flight endurance. Laboratory experiments have consistently shown that hydrogen-powered drones can fly three to five times longer than conventional battery-powered drones. This translates to missions lasting 10 plus hours without refueling, compared to the 20 to 40 minutes typical of battery systems. The extended range, approximately 100 miles on current operational models, opens up entirely new mission profiles that were previously impossible. Imagine persistent surveillance of high-value targets, or long-range penetration of contested airspace, without the need for frequent battery swaps or refueling. Another critical military advantage is the significantly reduced thermal signature compared to internal combustion engines. Hydrogen fuel cells operate at much lower temperatures, making these drones harder to detect with infrared sensors. Some models, like Heaven Drones' new radar, are specifically designed with stealth-like characteristics, including a low radar cross-section. The increased power generation capacity also enables more sophisticated onboard systems. With more electrical power available, these drones can run advanced autonomy software directly on the aircraft, reducing the need for constant communication with human operators, a vulnerability in contested electromagnetic environments. Payload capacity is another advantage. Current models like Heaven Drones' H2D250 can carry up to 10 pounds of equipment, sensors, or potentially munitions while maintaining their extended flight times. The strategic implications of hydrogen-powered drones are profound, particularly as the United States military explores options for conducting operations over vast distances in theaters like the Indo-Pacific. Samuel Bendet of the Center for Naval Analysis explains, the farther your drone can fly, the greater the chances of disrupting adversary logistics and supply lines and hitting command and control facilities located farther behind from the line of contact. Intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, 
ISR missions benefit tremendously from the extended loiter times. A drone that can remain on station for 10 hours provides persistent surveillance capabilities that would otherwise require multiple aircraft rotations. The reduced need for human operator inputs also makes these drones less vulnerable to electromagnetic warfare attacks. As Benzion Levinson, CEO of Heaven Drones notes, this capability has been driven in part by the company's experience helping Israeli forces against Hezbollah factions armed with Russian electromagnetic warfare capabilities. Beyond traditional ISR roles, hydrogen-powered drones excel in specialized applications like explosive disposal and hazardous material handling. Their longer flight times and increased accuracy make them ideal for these dangerous missions, keeping human operators at a safe distance. Search and rescue operations represent another vital application. During natural disasters like floods and earthquakes, these drones can provide life-saving aid in remote areas inaccessible by traditional transportation methods. Their ability to remain in operation for extended periods is crucial to mission success when time is of the essence. The industry is seeing significant momentum in 2025, with several key players pushing the technology forward. A notable partnership between Israel-based Heaven Drones and U.S. manufacturing company Mach Industries aims to co-produce hydrogen fuel cell-powered drones at scale. The Heaven Drones' latest model, the Raider, represents the cutting edge of this technology. Unveiled at IDEX 2025, it features a twin fuselage design with vertical takeoff and landing capabilities, making it deployable from naval vessels and in varied environments. The Raider is designed to fly for approximately 10 hours with a range of up to 1,000 kilometers. The market for small and tactical UAV fuel cells is projected to grow substantially from 437.7 million in 2024 to 960.3 million dollars by 2030 representing a compound annual growth rate of 14 percent the military end use segment is expected to reach 739.4 million by 2030 growing at 14.2 percent annually this growth is being driven by increasing demand for long endurance uavs across defense agriculture and surveillance sectors with defense applications leading the way due to the critical need for extended mission capabilities. One of the most innovative aspects of this technology is the development of field-deployable hydrogen refueling infrastructure. Heaven Drones has developed hydrogen refueling stations that can be deployed to remote island bases, dramatically reducing reliance on vulnerable resupply line. As Levinson explains, wherever you are, if you're Marines and you have this, you're taking this with you. You can create hydrogen 24-7 from essentially thin air. Companies like Haskell are manufacturing portable charging systems specifically designed for military drone operations. These systems offer fast fills and high portability, making refueling possible in remote and mobile environments. Haskell's portable refueling kit for UAVs is particularly noteworthy. The system can be transported anywhere, eliminating the need for drones to return to their original launch sites. Instead, the drone can fly longer in one direction, refuel when it reaches its destination, and continue operations, significantly widening drone capabilities in any application. Compared to electrolyzer and cryogenic alternatives, these hydrogen refueling solutions offer cost savings and provide twice the range of cascade refueling methods. Despite the tremendous potential, several challenges remain before hydrogen-powered drones can be deployed at scale. Perhaps the most significant is the supply chain for materials and parts, which is heavily dominated by China. The U.S. still relies on China for critical materials including rare earth metals, carbon fiber, lithium-ion batteries, and some electronics. A geopolitical conflict could disrupt the hydrogen-based drone supply chain, limiting defense applications. This vulnerability speaks to one of the core goals of partnerships like that between Heaven Drones and Mach Industries, developing a robust U.S.-based supply chain for drones, subsystems, and other critical parts. Technological advancements continue to improve fuel cell efficiency, energy density, and power-to-weight ratios. Research into advanced hydrogen storage solutions is particularly promising, as it addresses one of the key limitations of current systems. Integration with other emerging technologies, particularly artificial intelligence for autonomous operations, represents another frontier. As these systems become more sophisticated, the combination of extended flight times and advanced autonomy could revolutionize military drone operations completely. 
Hydrogen fuel cell technology represents a transformative advancement in military drone capabilities by dramatically extending flight times, increasing operational range, reducing thermal signatures, and enabling field-based refueling, these systems are poised to reshape aerial warfare in the coming decade. As global powers race to develop and deploy this technology, we're witnessing the dawn of a new era in military aviation, one where persistent surveillance, long-range strike capabilities, and reduced vulnerability to countermeasures become the new normal. The implications for future conflicts, particularly in vast theaters like the Indo-Pacific, are profound. Military hydrogen cell drones aren't just an incremental improvement, they're a revolutionary technology that changes the fundamental calculus of aerial warfare. If you found this technical deep dive informative, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more cutting-edge military technology analysis. Drop your thoughts and questions in the comments section below, we'd love to hear your perspective on this emerging technology. Thanks for watching Now You Know. Until next time, keep looking to the skies, you might just spot the future of warfare flying overhead.